what is C programming language? To answer this question better, we first start with why was C created? The picture you see at the right side of the slide is actually a computer. Back to 40 or 50 years ago, this was the shape of the computers and this is the actual part of the computer and this is about the tape system that they were using to interact with the computer. The idea was that uh, the operating systems back then were so over-engineered and it was not easy to add new softwares to them or modify the current softwares. So people at the Bell Lab company started to think about the idea that maybe we can start to develop a new operating system that is pretty small and it exactly does the job of an operating system and nothing more than that. There is no optimization over any specific type of task or whatsoever. So that was the time that people like Ken Thompson and his colleagues started to work on the idea of Unix. And the idea was making computers easier to use. So Unix started to be developed on 1969 and the initial version of that was written in assembly which was kind of okay back then but we will see later what was the problem. So the whole idea of Unix is consist consisted of three layers. Around the hardware, we have kernel, shell, and then the utility, utility or the application layer. So the kernel is the layer that is responsible for interacting with the hardware, doing like managing the things, processing and scheduling and stuff like that. Then we have the shell, which is like the UI for the Unix, you know, like user interface. And it's a nice way to interact with the kernel. And then anything other than kernel is just called utilities or applications, which can be any other software that you can have on the operating system. So everything was fine until around version 4 that uh, Unix got so much popularity. Many companies and universities start to use Unix and another idea came up and the idea was that uh, if we can write Unix in a high level programming language we can make it portable so Unix can be used in many different kind of computers with different architectures and uh, it makes the whole process easier for developers to make new softwares or modify the softwares they currently have so Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson start to work on the C programming language. And after they built the C programming language, they rewrite the Unix in C in 1973. And at the end, Unix became a portable operating system. And nowadays, Unix is widely used in many other distribution and operating systems like Linux, like Mac OS and is one of the most uh, influential operating system in the history. So it's funny to know that actually the Unix idea was not a real serious idea and it was just a side job that is done by Ken Thompson and the colleagues. And in an interview, he says, Unix was built for me. I didn't build it as an operating system for other people. I built it to do games and to do my stuff. I was always into games and games was my thing. So it, it's kind of funny that you see that such a serious project and influential project actually just was a, was a hobby and it was a personal project. The same thing goes with Python and we will talk about it later in next videos. So what is C programming language? C is a general purpose programming language, meaning that it's not optimized for any specific type of computation. It's general purpose. 
it's just a way to interact with the computer you are using and it has a nice abstraction over the assembly but doesn't have any other kind of uh, optimization and the C itself is pretty small and it started to be developed around 1972 by Dennis Ritchie at Bell Labs and it's a successor to the programming language B which is which was developed by Ken Thompson so they were not satisfied with the B and they just started to work on another project and they created C program language to use it for writing programs for Unix and eventually rewriting the whole kernel of the Unix. Here you can see the photo of Ken and Dennis which look like pretty cool guys and the C just grow, grow up and uh, it became a standard NC standard at 1989 and it has many compilers for various operating systems nowadays and the other and the last thing that we want to talk about is that why do we need to learn C while we are working on uh, understanding Python so the point is that the main implementation of Python which is C Python heavily relies on C and many parts of that which are especially important parts are written in C and on the other side the way the Python works especially C Python is that Python code is converted to bytecode and then this bytecode is executed through a big big C program so it's important to know C to understand Python better and if you go to C Python repository at GitHub and then go to the Python folder, you will see there is a bunch of C files there and they are pretty big files. And we're going to talk about them later, but it just gives you an idea of why do we need to learn C when we want to understand C Python better. And that's it 